What up, what up, what up, what up? This is Big Gene. I'm out here in the backyard messing with the griddle and the Camp Chef smoker. Doing the little lamb chops on the grill. Smoking those up real good. Got some onions and bell peppers I'm doing here. Those are going to uh, go up with some steak. Got some steak to go with this and a uh, little Parmesan cheese, a little provolone cheese. Make a, uh, call it a steak provolone. Then of course I got the lamb chops in the smoker. Those will be done in a little while. I'll finish them off on the, on the griddle. Four burner griddle here. Got a little uh, EVOO. Kissing, kissing them veggies up a little bit. Oh man, this backyard smelling good right now. This fire, oh, these onions and peppers are hollering. Tri-color pepper, Bedelia onions, straight from Bedelia, Georgia. Yes sir, yes sir. I got some steaks marinating in the, uh, in the house. Those will be ready to go in here right after I uh, let these saute, get them nice and tender. A little love on them. A little steak seasoning for the lamb chop, a little zip sauce after that. Yeah, those looking beautiful right there. Got the smoker set at 300 degrees. It's right about 275 right now. Yeah. Send a little love on these onions and bell peppers. Then after that, the steak going on the griddle. Chop that up. Put it on over a bed of rice with a little Parmesan cheese mixed in the rice with some parsley. Yes, sir. All right, hold on. Let me go. Let me hit that pause for a second. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get uh go get my steak. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Big Gene doing what I do. Big Gene doing what I do over here. Big Gene lifestyle. Cooking, scuba diving, grilling, baking. I do it all, baby. I do it all. Today's episode, Grilling the Smoke. Look at them. Woo! Y'all need to smell the onions and peppers, I'm telling you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Got some steak right there marinating. Chop that up. And then it go in with the onions and bell peppers over rice with the cheese. Yes, sir. Kiss them on the smoker for a minute. We're gonna finish them on the griddle with a little zip sauce. Ooh, yes sir, yes sir. Yes sir, look at that. Woo! Look at them colors, look at them grill marks. Yes sir. That's what's happening right there. Yes, yes. 
I can almost eat these onions and bell peppers with nothing else. Yes, sir. I need the bell peppers ready to come off. Yes, sir. Steak's going on next. That's beautiful right there. Yes, sir. I was supposed to do this Sunday. I sold dinners this past Sunday. And uh, it was really my first time using this griddle. And I pretty much was, had too much going on. I couldn't, I ain't had time to cut the camera on. So much stuff was going on. People was calling with orders. Told everybody I wasn't doing orders until 12. I had people calling me at 9.30, placing orders. So, it was a learning experience. Big Gene doing what Big Gene do. Got this griddle going. It's smelling beautiful out here. Lamb chops coming along good. Uh, I'm gonna try some other stuff on here. I might even, uh, I got some uh, boneless pork chops. I might throw some of them on here. This is doing real good. Uh, never thought that uh, I like this griddle as much as I do. But I really do. I like my smoker and I like my charcoal, but I like this too. Just different types of uh, scenarios. They all work effectively for what you're trying to do at different times. You set this right here. Yes, sir. These ready to come off in about. Go ahead and take these off right now, as a matter of fact. of cleaning this griddle up as long as you keep it clean is uh is amazing as well a little hot water well actually you don't need hot water because you usually clean it off while it's still hot with water and uh, the steam is it, the stuff that's left on the grill is called fine f-o-n-d but uh once you clean that fond off, coat it with a little, a little uh, vegetable oil or canola oil. And, uh, put the cover on. And you really ain't gotta worry about it. It's ready for your next cook. That came out beautiful. So I'm gonna wrap that up now. And that's a done deal. Onions and bell peppers done. Woo, that's hot. Got a lot of heat coming off this little edge over here. Uh, let me cut this right here. Got 
got I got other tables. I don't feel like pulling them out right now. But uh oh I need my zip saws. Uh, got to get the zip saws. Y'all gotta hold the phone again. Be right back. The zip sauce. Okay, now we're gonna cut these middle, these other burners off. We only want the middle right now. Okay. Little thinly sliced ribeye. Uh, we're gonna go with. We don't need no oil because it's got plenty of oil in the marinade. I believe we're gonna be good. There we go. Woo! Listen to a scene. Woo! It's hot. Woo! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Let's put that fat in there because that fat will uh, actually help lubricate the. Uh, we're gonna give it just a little bit of oil. It's looking a little dry. Yeah, we in there. We in there. So that's real bad. This is it, though. We're going to let that cook down a little bit, and we're going to add a little bit of that. Once I feel like this is releasing, flip it over, and we'll start cutting it up a little bit. There we go. That's what we're talking about. There we go. Check on the lamb chop. They look like they need to be flipped. Yep. These ready to be cooked. Don't take long for these little thin ribeyes to cook. Not long at all. But you don't want to overdone steak chewy anyway. So, with that being said, now. Nah. We give it a little shot of the zip sauce. Okay. I'll take this. Dump our strip up. Yeah, this will go over a nice bed of seasoned rice. Maybe a little broccoli in there. The onions and the bell peppers. Parmesan cheese. Provolone cheese. 
Yes, sir. This is this is one of my best sellers, Sunday. Once I cut this up, pretty much it'll be ready to come off the grill. They so thin, it don't take a long time to cook this grill out. And like I said, you don't want no well done, chewy ribeye with the steak provolone. You feel me? And I'm gonna put this right in with the onions and bell peppers. Cause all that sauce is gonna go right on the onions and bell peppers, right over the rice. It's gonna be a nice accompaniment. How you say that? Accompany, accompaniment? It go with it. How about that? <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's it. That's pretty much a done deal. Yes, sir. That's it. That's a done deal right there. So now what we'll do is, let's say it, set that right there. Like this. Okay. Grab the onions to one end. Steak it be on the other end. Let me get a little better. this off and we're going to use that same part of the griddle to uh, do our lamb chops they ready to they ready to do they thought this was true I put them on the grill with a little zip sauce and that's gonna be good. Some, some blue cheese or something. Just anyway. Okay. There we go. Turn that back up. My dog trying to find any little scrap I drop for her. She want her cut. These lamps got so good, we might have to fight over. Them. Ain't gonna be no cut for her. She gonna be mad. There we go. These some thick cuts. What they call the porterhouse lamp chop. Yep. 
Another thing I like about this is how fast it the temperature get up to where it needs to be. Cook your food right quick. You in and you out. It ain't an all day thing. Then served in no time. I'm gonna try to do do the do this dinner thing uh, twice a month. We got a holiday coming up next weekend, so definitely won't be doing nothing but maybe smoke a few slabs of ribs, do something like that. Uh, this one lamb chop right here got an excessive amount of fat on it. I'm gonna trim some of that off. It's just way too much. That's way too much fat. Nobody wants that. That's too much fat. This one got too much fat too. A little fat is good. A little fat is flavor. But too much fat ain't good. Yeah. That's way better. That's way better. Yeah, sir, we in there. Another three or four minutes and uh you can call this a, a wrap. That's too much fat for that. Just that piece of fat. This little piece of fat right here, we don't need that. Turn that off. Just that piece of fat. Yeah. That's looking real good. Yes, yeah, sir. A little steam. Look like my phone died. Let me see if it's still recording. Yeah, we still recording, but the light was on. I guess it cut off on its own. I don't know what happened. Maybe the battery went low. But uh, you pretty much get the picture. This big team doing what I do. If you like this video, check out some of my other videos. Do me a favor, subscribe to my channel. It don't cost you nothing. Share it with your friends. Uh, hit that notification button. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I'm trying to get my subscribers up. I need to get to a thousand. Maybe we can get to a thousand by the summer. I'm only at like 90. Come on, sign up with me. Ain't gonna cost you nothing. Ain't gonna hurt you none. Help your boy out. Big Gene doing what I do. Really. Smoking. Hot shows. Working on antique cars. Working on my vet. Still got the Mustang right there. Got some projects set up for that. I don't know how to turn this around. But anyway, uh, thank y'all for checking out my video. Uh, get back with me. Leave me some some tips if you have any. Appreciate all your love and support. This big Jean out. Look at them lamb chops, y'all. I wish I could smell the steam like I could smell it. Look at that. Oh, that's just... Well, this big Jean signing out. Y'all take care. Have a blessed day. And by all means, stay safe.